greatest invention known to man is man himself. The greatest reinvention of man is a man reinventing himself. Real talk. Greatness can come from anywhere. I draw inspiration from the Filipino people and to God in my family. Hard work is the most difficult things in boxing. Let's get into it. Devin Haney is reportedly suing Ryan Garcia for the beatdown that he received in their contest, which ultimately was changed to a no contest. Devin Haney is seeking battery and fraud punitive damages. Devin Haney, he said Don't that he's retiring, like taking time some time off, whatever, subscribe. which you should. I mean, after a beatdown like that, sometimes that does something very serious to a fighter, especially upstairs in the mind department. You may not even, I guess, have the drive to even fight anymore. Look at Earl Spence. After that, after that fight with Bud, you know what I'm saying? Like Arrow, he wasn't the same. Arrow, I mean, he took so much needed time off with everybody knew that he was going to do. But now it's questions. Is Arrow even going to fight again? Look how many fighters in the sport of boxing was robbed in a fight. Yes, certain decisions are corrupt. They might be biased. But as a fighter, you know that's a part of the game. You have people taking care of the business aspect of the game, but you also have to be paying attention. And as a fighter, you know, ultimately, you can't leave it up to the judges. You can't leave it up to the refs, the judges. You got to go in there. You got to do your thing. Ultimately, you have to dominate your opponent, whether it's by knockout or every round you punish your opponent. People talk about Shakur Stevenson. He doesn't get knockouts. But Shakur Stevenson, he decisively beats his opponents for 12 rounds. So he may not get the knockout. He may be boring in some fans' eyes, but you can't sit up here and say that Shakur didn't win because he didn't get touched and he put hands on his opponent. That's boxing. You know what I'm saying? Hit and don't get hit. But the fact that Devin Haney got hurt multiple times in that fight, he got caught with the more devastating punches. I mean, come on now. Or you can't be surprised if Ryan Garcia got the knot and just look at the body of work that was done in the ring. Ryan Garcia won. He won. But the fact that that happened, Devin Haney is kind of piggyback on that. He's piggybacking on that fact. And now he's trying to go after punitive damages and all that. You know what I'm saying? Because he feels as though that even though the decision got overturned, Ryan Garcia shouldn't have got paid in that fight. End of the day, both of you guys are prize fighters. <laughs> you know what I mean? Both guys, both parties, both sides get a piece of the pie. How big? That depends on negotiations. That ain't none of my business. Now, Devin Haney trying to go after the bag, even though Ryan Garcia had to cough up 1.5 million because he was overweight. He was three pounds overweight. So he had to cough up that change. And he did that. He did that. That's one thing I can honestly say about Ryan Garcia. If he loses a bet or whatever like that, it's like when he lost the arrow, he pays up. You can't say the you can't say the guy's delinquent. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can call him a drunk. And all that you can call him Oscar number two, Oscar 2.0. You can call him whatever you want. But when it's time for Ryan Garcia to pay up, he pays up. And he did that with Devin Haney. I think this is a tough fight and a tough loss for Devin Haney to process and to get over. Will he ever get over it? In my opinion, I don't think any fighter does get over a loss. They move past it, but they don't get over it because they know they got beat. Now, even if you got robbed, you still got beat. So you may that, that may be something that you always remember. You won't forget it. But certain fights and certain losses may hurt more than others. But the fact is, if you continue to fight, that's something that you have to get past. That's something that you can't harbor on. You can't take that negativity out on your family, your friends, your loved ones. A part of being a fighter is all about being mentally and physically tough. It takes a certain type of person and you got to have a certain type of mentality to be a fighter. You really do. That's why Mike Tyson was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like most fighters, especially in his day, like they come from nothing. They didn't have any other choice but to fight either that or the street. And that's real. Devin Haney didn't have the same upbringing that a lot of people had. His, his pop was out there like that, but Devin Haney ain't come up like his pop did. So, you can't really say that, you know what I mean? Like Devin Haney was in the streets like that. That's not saying he can't be a fighter, but it's a certain toughness when you come from nothing and you literally have to fight your way to the top. You have to fight your way through every situation that you've ever been through. 
Devin Haney really didn't experience that. And this is the first time that he's really been tested. And we're all seeing that Devin Haney, he may not be built for the game. Now, if he continues to fight, guess what, Devin Haney? You may lose again. I imagine if you step into the ring with Tank Davis. I imagine what Tank would do to you. And you've seen what Tank did to Ryan Garcia. If you step into the ring with Tank Davis, there is a high probability that Tank is going to knock you out. Now, if Tank knocks you, knocks you out or Tank stops you, what you going to do? <laughs> Sue Tank? I mean, you got to be real. You got to see the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is you can't handle your loss. I respect Devin Haney, man. You know what I'm saying? He's a young, smart brother, man. He's a Muslim. You have my respect. But I got to keep it 100 with you, man. I got to keep it 100 with anything that I do. Because if you call yourself real, it's a, I mean, it's a it's a toll. It's a price tag that comes with that. You know what I mean? You got to be unapologetic. Because in these days and times, people don't like the person that's real. People like the fake motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? But I won't change my stripes for anybody. I just told somebody that. And for Devin Haney, in my opinion, you're kind of showing your character. And as a man and as a Muslim, character is very important. So you need to take that loss, process it, and put it behind you. I'm not telling you to forget it because I don't think you're, you're going to be able to forget it. I mean, look at where we are. And you are still not only talking about that loss, but you're still struggling with it, struggling with it, excuse me, in broad daylight. Certain things you got to do behind closed doors, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's your own personal business. And processing trauma like that is yours to deal with alone. Yes, you may be able to talk to people, but ultimately it's going to come down to you processing that loss, dealing with it, handling that pain and that trauma and getting past it. And if you can't get past it, you have to ask yourself a multitude of questions. But the one at the top of the list is do I still want to be a competitive prize fighter? Do I still want to fight on the highest of levels? And facing opponents like Ryan Garcia, like Tank Davis, like Shakur Stevenson, these are fighters that are on the highest of levels. Pound for pound, the best in the division and the best in the world. So if you can still consider yourself a pound for pound best, You've done some great things in boxing. You've been undisputed. You four came bosses. You know what I'm saying? Lost, went over there, did your thing, got your belts back. Hats off to you. You've done some great things. You were a great young champion. But now it's time to show the world, are you a great man? It's one thing being a great fighter. But at the end of the day, when you look at the greatest people, the greatest fighters who ever fought and laced up a pair of gloves, yes, they were great fighters. But they will always be revered. Because when they took those gloves off, they were great men. Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, you know what I'm saying? Sugar Ray. You know what I mean? Like, it's a multitude of greats, man. You know what I'm saying? Duran, Hagler, Hearns. You know what I mean? Like, these guys were tough, bro. You know what I'm saying? Holyfield. You know what I mean? Like, these guys were tough. Look what just happened to Anthony Joshua when he fought Dubois. You don't see Joshua down in the dumps. He said, you know what? Better man won. That's myself off. I'm going to come back. Now, when he goes home, cuts off those lights and he's behind closed door. If he cries or really gets in touch with himself and his feelings and say, you know what, man, like, do I want to do this? That's for him to process. And that's what everybody has to do. Every individual on the face of the earth. When you go through adversity, you have to ask yourself, can I get through this? And if you can, because guess what? As long as you breathing, as long as you living, you ain't got no choice. You got to get through it. You got to push past it. Because every day that you wake up, you got another day to get it right. You got another day to get past that pain. Never implode. And right now, it looks like Devin Haney is imploding on himself and on his career. If you still want to be a prize fighter, you have to process that loss, process that pain. Ask yourself, is this really what I want to do? Because if it is, in my opinion, the fights are only going to get tougher. If you want to fight the high level opposition, which is Tank Shakur, like these guys can really obliterate you. Fatality. Fatality.